Shave me. Dating tip number one, if she picks up the pen for you after you drop it, she's single and she's ready to mingle. I am single, yes. Next time you're out there cheating, wear a wristband. So when she tries to grab onto your wrist as you're trying to leave, because obviously the business is finished, you'll, she'll slip right off and you'll have a clean exit. Wristbands, not just for sweat, but when you gotta get out. Y'all don't watch a lot of commercials because I pay for premium shit. YouTube, premium, and thing, or I'm stealing, or I'm, you know, borrowing people's passwords because they got the premium stuff. We all share. It is a world of sharing it is caring. Give it to me. Saw this weird commercial. It wasn't weird. It was just a little bit. I'm not ashamed of my pubic hair. A little bit crazy. It was a pubic hair commercial. It was a Venus pubic hair commercial. I was like, oh shit. It was some girl, she was talking about pubic hair. She was like, let them things grow. Let me see that thing. Let's be free. Let them things hit the ground. I wonder how long the pubic hair can grow. You ever wonder? Your hair can grow all the way down. Don't even know how long ago it was. You know, nostrils, hair, they keep going. But when does the pubic hair stop growing? Oh. Please stop. I wonder what's the longest ever bush. Man bush, woman bush. And then out of the bushes jumps an atheist. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not taking away from anybody. But it was talking about pubic hair, you know, be free, be you. You'll be free from that box, just like me. No need to shave it. No need to be scared of saying the word pubic. Wake up, scared. I said, what the hell? I mean, I am shocked. We're an odd commercial. I get it. They got all these crazy commercials. You know, you selling sex, jeans with sex, you selling cereal with sex. Who's afraid to say pubic hair? It is so natural. I remember back in the day, I was scared to say the word nipple. I don't know. I used to think it was very sexual. My nipple is getting hot. I think I was in the second or third grade, and I was already uh, they already showed me porn, so the word nipple, I was like, oh, I'm thinking breast, breast, nipples, breast and nipples, they go together. Oh, you have a third nipple? Teacher goes, I got nipples, she's got nipples, and I was like, whoa, I had a crush on this girl. You know, second grade crush, she got nipples, I was like, that's intense. I flip my boner up into my waistband. I think that, pe people are free about pubic hair. They got commercials, shave your shit, uh, the lawnmower. I think they gotta come up with a better name because the, the lawnmower 4.0, the crop duster or whatever, they, they coming up with some good stuff, but you just coming out straight out, pubic hair, let it be, let it grow, shave it, whatnot, be comfortable with your body, and I get it, be comfortable with your body, that's cool. I hate my body! But no one likes a mess, right? Come here, put a little this on, do a couple push-ups. If you open my beard, don't shake it. I don't like it messy. And there's people that like it messy. I've been like, just let it grow a little bit. Let me see, let me, let me see what the, the mane look like. You know what I'm saying? Now show me yours. But I've never been, just let it be. What's that movie, what, Wolf on Wall Street? Where uh, they were talking about like, you know, girls are doing all these crazy things. Really? And they're all shaved too. They're nice and clean. Lanny strips, maybe designs, you know. People get designs in their hair all the time. I get it. It's like, whoa. Lanny strip, ziggity zags, arrows, whatever. I remember back in the day, I was stupid through my father's drawers. I was probably looking for like my stuff or. Big box of porn. Thing. I was just snooping. Parents always got stuff you don't have as a kid. I'm looking through his stuff and I see some books, crazy books, hidden in some drawer. This is my mother and my parents' room. So it's like a regular drawer, they have shit. And I'm looking through some old ass school porn. Old ass school. It was colored, they had feathers. I was like, feathers? Together again. Don't tickle me. This Latin kid, I remember sex was like taboo. Talking about sex was taboo. I'm a Catholic boy, sex is only for obviously the church. Oh, praise Jesus! Oh! Very taboo, so I was like, whoa, this is like porn, right? I mean, they had women all naked, men naked. I was like, whoa, first time I saw it, I had to close it. I said, what the hell is this? Then I went back like the next day. 
I was in vacation, they were at work. I went back at it again, broke into the room. That's how I learned how to break it. Break into the room, use the knife, go in the drawer, boom. It was crazy. Women in bushes, women in bushes. Fiery, just like back in the day you would see the women with like the high, high hair, 70s, 80s, all high. The higher it is, it's just the better, it's the sexier. It means they're ready to mate. I just saw the movie, My Big Fat Greek Wedding. Good movie. All the women had big high hair. My mom had big high hair. Sometimes she still does, like weddings and stuff. She just puts it all high and shit. Good fellas, all high. I wonder what that poofiness meant back in the day. Power, status, independence. Can you take me now, please? But what a crazy commercial. Usually Venus has the, I'm your Venus, I'm your Venus, fire. I can honestly say, when I used to shave to the skin, I used to get the Venus razors. Why? Because they had the little two, they had the two, uh, like hydration shits. And I was like, yeah, gotta be careful. Can nip, can knack. They're bleeding everywhere and shit. I once tried using cream that would burn it off or whatever it does, the chemicals. Tried it once, it was weird and it was, I was learning. I was a young man, a young lad. You stupid boy. I was on vacation from high school. I think I had a girl. So it was a few months of non-shaving. And it was wild. I used the cream. <sighs> that shit was crazy. And this was when I was sharing a bedroom with, I mean, a bathroom with my parents. So they're all knocking on the door. What are you doing? I'm in there. Water's running. I'm wasting water. I'm trying to let this cream go. Did not work. Stop using it. I was afraid my balls were gonna get all wet, messed up. My my man, my soldiers were gonna get all crazy and all messed up like a nuclear war blast. <laughs> not his balls. Not his balls. Not my balls. Couldn't do it. Had to stop. Stop shaving completely because it just felt weird. Some ladies would be like, "It just feels like a shaved but dusty." I was like, "Damn." So now I just use the lawnmower, just zero it all out, nice and clean. Nothing's wrong with that. And I'm not saying every woman gotta be clean, just the STD test. But what I am saying is, take a little pride, take a little pride, take a little pride, you'll be all right. And I'm pretty sure all the single ladies out there, you know, all the ones trying to impress, shape to impress. Like back in the day, when uh, when a girl's uh, dating a, a young lad, whatever they're into, you know, beginning, fully, legs always shaved, everything always on point, perfume, hair done, nails done, always on point. Give it some time. Eh, every other week I'll shave. Don't lie, don't lie, ladies. At some point, you're like, eh. you gonna love me no matter what. She gonna love me no matter what. Shave me. But don't get too comfortable. Cause remember, even the rabbit and the turtle became soup after the race. That's it for today. Fellas, keep it clean. With the lawnmower 4.0. I'm still stuck on the 3.0 because when I bought it, boom, the 4.0 came out. And I was like, damn, I gotta use this for at least a couple months. Ladies, keep it nice with Venus, or whatever you use. I feel like the laser stuff dangerous, but I don't know. <sighs> Sweating like an Egyptian horror house. Anyway, thanks for listening. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good morning, good night, good evening. And remember, no matter what, you're gonna be all right. Jesus, signing out.